terms, I guess, of a timeline for sexual boundaries, I I leave that up to the girl. Like, that is something I feel like is her decision. If I try to push something on her, I would feel really guilty. So, I guess for, but I guess if I had to say, uh, anywhere between third and fifth date is when stuff should happen. <laughs> I went dumpster diving one time for a date. I sucked a guy's dick one time before I even knew his name 15 minutes in to the date it wasn't really a date we were just hanging out in a group I don't think that time has any direct correlation with trust at all so I think it's I mean like sexual relations like for me I have to trust the person and I don't there's not any kind of set timing like everybody each person I meet is different mm -hmm. but um, it definitely depends on just how you and the other person connect, I guess. Um, I mean, it's definitely, like, myself personally, I wouldn't um, try anything, like, right at the start. I mean, I would give it time just to be sure, because you never know. I've met girls, and like, 48 hours later, it's happened. I've had sex with <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know, I guess it's my like personal preference. Just, like, your connection with the person? Like, yeah, I guess it would be, like, kind of, I mean, not even. I guess it's a little different for guys. I feel like girls like want to be more attached, but guys don't think have to be as attached. Okay. I think it would just be have to be a conversation that you have, like depending on what she or whatever your partner is comfortable with. Um, you have to have that conversation together. Like no one should make the decision for the other party when it's like okay for just them. Right. Both of you have to come to that agreement. It's a mutual unit. decision. Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> I would classify a date as um, like where the guy's intentions are being shown. Like a date doesn't have to be like a nice fancy meal out at a restaurant. Like as long as you know, or the girl knows that the guy's intentions are um, like meaningful, then that could be a date. Um, a date is an occasion you take with somebody uh, to go have a good time. Um, usually the opposite sex, just because my sexual orientation. But, you know, it can be anything you want it to be. It can be going out for dinner, going to see a movie, going hiking. So, okay. pretty loose. I mean, like, for a guy's part, for a date, I think to be, like, you know, not to be rude. Like, you take her out on a date somewhere, probably, you know, a restaurant or something like that, and you would pay. I mean, and I think that's the legitimate way to do that. If I'm spending money, you're spending money on the girl, so you have to take the girl out to right. dinner. Officially a date. Uh, yeah. Okay, so it can't you can't just hang out. It has to be formal. If it's like considered a date, like a first date, yeah. Yeah, I think like the earlier ones have to have like some sort of formality to yeah. them. So like going to an actual like location that would be considered formal, and then like after that, once you have an established relationship, they could be just like hanging out. Okay. At the park or and somewhere. I mean, as long as both people think that it's a date, it's a date. Like, I went dumpster diving one time as a date. It doesn't have to be like a meal or like a picnic or a movie or anything. Um, what I've seen more of is just hook up buddies. Um, yeah, it's kind of, kind of unsettling, but it's the way it's going, so. And which one do you prefer, personally? Committed relationship. Committed. It's, it's more rewarding every single time. Mm -hmm. I think in today's society, there are more like hookups and one night stands when it's related to like college towns and college kids. What would you prefer more of those two? Committed relationships. Committed relationships. Dance. There's definitely less committed relationships in today's day and age. Um, it's more like our culture is more of a hookup culture. There's definitely more people that just are in it for the sexual side of the relationship, not necessarily there for one another. Nice. I, don't, I mean, if somebody just asked me to go out, I wouldn't have a problem with it. So either one? Yeah. Okay. I think the girl who asked the guy out, um, it goes both ways. I don't feel like the guy should always have to uh, exact initiative. But she like likes you. Just like feel like a girl will go talk to her. Like she'd be able to talk to us. Okay. Um, a lot.
absolutely. And is that for anything, like a date or? Yeah, I mean, it, like. Is it okay for her to ask him to be like her boyfriend or? I would say, like? like personally, in my own relationship, I would ask. I'd be the one to ask, but it's different for everyone. I think that. I mean, you see functions that. I've heard of sorority functions and like high school functions where the girl asks the guy and it seems to work just fine so um, yeah I think it can go both ways okay. is it okay for the girl to ask the guy yeah why not all the time no I mean I don't think it's ever I think it's all situational do you think that I think um, good do you think that it's okay for the guy to pay every time or should the girl have to pay I don't think that's fair I think it's what the cost should be split pretty evenly you can ask a guy out if you're a girl. Like, it's not the, like, like the 40s, but I mean... <laughs> Alright, so in terms of faithfulness, out of my partners, I would expect faithfulness just because I myself am very faithful. And if I ever broke that bond between my girlfriend, I guess, I would feel guilty. I would feel so guilty. Uh... If I'm looking for a real relationship, I would definitely look for faithfulness. I think it would be foolish not to look for faithfulness if you're being intentional and meaningful. You look for faithfulness? Yeah, I think it's a little different for guys. Like, yeah, why you say that? I mean, like, saying, they be in and out, right? They be in and out. I mean, at the same time, like, yeah, I'm single, so, I mean, I'm in college, you know, I want to have fun. But, like, I mean, eventually, I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna say like I'm, I'm a dog, you know, like that. But you know, it's, like stuff happens, you know what I'm saying? You're in college, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, eventually, you know, you want to find somebody that you, you know, set it down. Right. I look for both. I have to say, um, like through having good times, you develop trust and like you build the relationship, and. I think that, like, through learning about each other and having good times together, you can develop faithfulness. It's not something, it's like trust, it's not something that just clicks, like, you've got to work at it, so, I want both. Mm -hmm. <laughs>